<sighs> Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. I wanted to like this game so much. And I think I do like this game, but it has so much problems at the same time. I'm like so conflicted here because there's a lot of good things with this game that we're about to talk about, but a lot of bad. And there's probably more bad than there is good, but at the same time, it's just so fun that I'm conflicted here, guys. I truly am. We're gonna go over everything, but today we are going to be talking about the Nintendo World Championship Edition or NES Edition. Of for the Nintendo Switch. This recently just dropped for the Nintendo Switch. It was something that really no one was expecting for the Nintendo Switch. It kind of got leaked and then a few days later it got announced and then it was coming out in like five weeks time and here we are with the game. And when this got announced there was a lot of good and bad reaction towards this game. There was people excited because they thought this game was going to be a lot of what it ended up not being and there was people hoping that this would open the doors maybe towards a new NES Remix Pack game, or maybe this would open the door to just something very unique with the Nintendo World Championship brand because we haven't really seen much come out of it since 2017. And the game dropped and <sighs> there's a lot of problems, a lot of things that you would have thought would never go missing in a game that's missing in a game like this. Let's talk about the one giant thing, especially since this game has somewhat online multiplayer to it. It doesn't have a online leaderboard. It has no leaderboard at all. And you would think with a game that focuses so much on high scores, beating things the fastest thing possible, getting that best record possible, you would think there would be some sort of leaderboard to this game, and there's not. I don't know how in the world they thought that it was okay to release this without a leaderboard because I would have thought that that should be like the number one feature here, especially since you have like somewhat online to the game. Which brings another problem to this game right here that I think a lot of people will be running into as an issue and that's no proper online. Now we live in a world today where we don't get to hang around friends like we used to back in the day. Especially since COVID, you know, I think a lot of people look at things differently now. And a lot of people just have online friends. That's kind of the thing now. A lot of people are far away. They don't have time to come around to play video games. This is a game that focuses so much on having the local co-op, having people come over to your house. This game has online, but it's not true online. It's like kind of like Mario Bros. Wonder, where it's got like the ghost data of previous levels of what people have played and you're playing that with them. The online, it's not good. And it should have had proper online because this would have been a game that I think would have been very popular if it had said online to the game. And then we bring up another problem with this game that was really kind of shocking to me, especially with how the new Nintendo World Championships have been with the actual championship back in 2015 and 2017. The thing about those championships is it had a remix of all Nintendo consoles to it. So you truly did not know what you were going to be playing in that. It was truly unexpecting what games are going to be there. This is all just NES and I think that you could have done so much more than just NES. Imagine you put some combination of the GameCube, the SNES, the Game Boy, the, I don't know, 3DS, something in here to make it, well actually 3DS would have been kind of difficult, but you get my drift here. Nintendo has access to all of this stuff and they could have put some of that here into this game, make fun and unique challenges here, high scores, because obviously you're not getting the whole game onto there. So I think it would have made sense to do something like that, but you're stuck with just the NES games. And in all honesty, there's not a lot of NES games on here. I would have thought they would have put a lot more NES titles in here considering it's just the NES, but it's pretty lackluster when it comes to the challenges. If you're going particularly just for this challenge mode, getting S tier ranks on everything, you could probably beat this game 
I would say probably less than five hours, especially if you're really good at the game, you'll probably do it pretty fast because there's just not much content in this. Now, I had fun going through these games, but something I had a problem with with this game is, and this is like kind of a complaint, a big complaint, but at the same time, it's kind of minor, but I feel like it should have been easier to restart these games. I was doing so many things, accidentally exiting out of the game multiple times, just trying to restart a level because I was trying to beat my high score. There was too much work that had to be done to restart a level. And I feel like there should have been an option to just easily like, hey, press this button, instant restart. That was not an option here into this game. I also feel like there should have been a mode where it like randomizes what game you're about to play, like a full on randomize between all titles that they had in this game. They kind of have that in the somewhat online mode, but you're only getting like two or three games and then it starts to be the same exact stuff every single time. This, I feel like you could have remixed it with all the challenges and like kind of just like a, I don't know what mode you would call it, but just like a randomizer, you put yourself in 15 levels, you don't know what you're about to play, boom, get the highest rank possible or fastest speed possible to beat this level. Something like that I think people would have gone crazy for, especially for those with single player content because there's just not enough of that in this game. We talked about my idea of making a proper Nintendo World Championship game where it's just a bunch of today's titles, old titles, everything combined into this, which I still think would be an awesome idea. I think people would buy that up. I think if you made a $60 version of that, where it was like a new game in terms of unique challenges, all that type of stuff, I think people would go crazy over that. Fortunately, we didn't get that. We got this $30 NES edition, which brings up another point that I don't think enough people are talking about. It's called the NES edition, which probably means we're getting way more of these games down the road on the next Nintendo console, or maybe even the Nintendo Switch, depending how long the system lasts into next year. I would not be surprised if you see a SNES edition, a Game Boy edition, a GameCube version, because this probably sold very well for Nintendo, especially at that $30 price tag, they probably will release a few more of these. I know for me, I would have liked them at this point just to make a new NES remix pack rather than what this was, because this is something that had so much potential that ended up being nothing what people wanted. I think a new NES remix pack would have been the perfect way to go if Nintendo wanted to do something with NES games. I still had a lot of fun with this game, especially using the NES controller that Nintendo released for the Nintendo Switch. It's been really fun playing these games that way. I just continue to play this game and have fun, but at the same time, I feel like this where I'm like, this is fun, but at the same time, there's so much potential here that's going to waste. This is a giant missed opportunity for Nintendo and the Switch. I especially think just the concept of the Nintendo World Championship could be something really big that Nintendo just does nothing with now. And especially the fact that they made this game and it being this disappointing this that this is right here. It's just one of those things that I'm like, what are we doing Nintendo? You could have brought back the championships, do a new tournament and then what that tournament you promote the new version of the world championship and then like bro i feel like there was so much potential here a big potential hit here that's not going to be nowhere near as popular as it is now now if you're buying it physically as of right now there's only a 60 dollars edition out there it's called the deluxe edition gives you a bunch of stuff it's basically 30 dollars more than buying it digitally if you want it digitally it's 30 bucks I don't know if Nintendo plans to release just this down the road. I feel like they have to, but at the same time, as of right now, there's nothing out there that's indicating that they're gonna do a $30 release of this game. I had a lot of fun with the Nintendo World Championship NES edition for Nintendo Switch, but I'm left conflicted with so many thoughts of what it could have been. And ultimately, I feel like the only score I can give this game is a six out of 10. And that might be pretty rough considering that I have some positives, but I feel like there's more negatives that overweight the positives with this game. For $30, you'll have a blast. And if you have friends that come over all the time, you'll be able to enjoy a lot of these modes that Nintendo promotes. I just feel like today's generation is not what Nintendo thinks it is 
we're all online now. And this is something that you really get the proper enjoyment if you have people over to play said games. So I guess really what you need to look at it as, do you have friends that are gonna come over to your house and play a Nintendo game? If you don't, this is probably something you're gonna wanna pass on unless you really want to own this game and play this new Nintendo World's Championship. Because for $30, it's not bad for $30. I wanna know what you guys are thinking when it comes to this game. I'm conflicted on it because it's fun. It's got potential. I, I still feel like this is something that could have been a big hit for Nintendo if they did what we talked about, where you do a mixture of all the consoles into a brand new game. You tie it in to the new world championship that's gonna happen on stage at LA or wherever they wanna put it at. I think last time they had it in New York City. Do it in New York City again. And then you see the players play this and then you announce the game's gonna be worldwide available. Then you have online play. I feel like that would have been huge. That would have been fun. But then we're left with this. I'm 50-50 on it. Like I said, I think it's a game that you're only going to get the fun when you're having friends over. And I just, I feel like with how the world is, how the generations are, this doesn't fit with that. And I guess maybe if you're an old school player back in the day when you own an NES, this might be exciting for you. It's just one of those things that just like... Guys, I have been talking for way too much. Make sure to backslash that subscribe button, like the video, check out my Twitter, check out my Instagram, check out the Discord server, uh, check out our YouTube live streams that we've been doing. You can become a Monado Marine for five bucks a month. We added so many new emojis. We actually just uploaded the Southeast Game Exchange panel exclusively for the Monado Marines. So if you haven't seen that yet in your Marine, go check it out, it's in the little community tab. And if you wanna see it and not a Marine, you need to join because you're missing out on a really good panel. Guys, I enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I wanna know what you guys think on something I might be doing. I'm considering opening up a PO box. I don't know, I've had two people that have wanted to send letters and stuff. And I was like, huh. I wonder if other people are gonna wanna do that. And if that's something that people would be interested in me doing, then I show off the letters and whatever on video. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm gonna do a community post on it too, get y'all's thoughts on the community on it. And uh, yeah, make sure to turn into our streams, guys, it's great. I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.